Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 69 here says, which of the following is equivalent to the fourth root of 36 divided by square root of 6? And I think the easiest way to approach this one, uh, first notice that all the answer choices are, except for this last one, uh, are all in terms of 6. So I'm going to try to rewrite this in terms of 6s rather than in terms of, you know, 36. Basically, I want to rewrite this 36 as a power of 6. The other thing I'm going to do is go back and forth between writing these radical symbols, these little check marks, square root, fourth root symbols. I'm going to rewrite those as uh, radical exponents, okay? Um, so like if you have something like the square root of x, uh, the square root of x, that is equivalent to x to the one-half power. Okay, that's essentially what it means. And if you have any root x, so let's say we have, you know, the third root of x, that's equivalent to x to the one-third. Ah, there we go. Why, why are we going down? Um, x to the one-third. If we have the fourth root of x, that's the same thing as saying x to the one-fourth, and so on. So basically the nth root of x is going to be equal to x to the 1 over n power. So this is, this is good to know here. So I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction, 36 to the power of 1 fourth, right, because it's the fourth root, divided by the square root of 6, so 6 to the 1 half. Now the reason why I'm rewriting it like this is because I want to take advantage of the exponent properties I know. So 36 is the same thing as saying 6 squared. 6 squared equals 36. So I'm going to replace that 36 with a 6 squared. Now I was talking a little bit about exponent properties a second ago, and here's where it's going to come up, where if I raise a power to a power, I can simplify that by multiplying the powers. So 2 times 1 fourth would be 2 fourths. So this is the same thing as saying 6 to the 2 fourths. 2 fourths is equivalent or could be reduced to 1 half. Now notice here I've got 6 to the 1 half power divided by 6 to the 1 half power and anytime I divide something by itself I always get 1. So my answer here is going to be 1 Another thing that you could do is you could always just type this into calculator and then check and see which one's equal. So you don't really necessarily need to know all these exponent properties and radical properties. It is good to know because you can go through the problem um, pretty quickly if you do know those. Uh, but since we're not, since we don't have any variables here, you may as well just type this in the calculator. Now, if your calculator doesn't have, it should, you know, scientific calculators typically you can do roots. But if not, then just type it in as an exponent. So that's it for number 69. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.